How's it going, everyone? I have an exciting video planned for you guys today. We are going to be talking about the 10 best everyday carry folding knives for summer of 2023. Now, I tried to construct this list of a variety of price points, a different variety of material choices, so that way, at least hopefully, one of these knives appeals to you, and that was my hopes. So we'll jump right into this guy, starting with number 10. This is none other than the Quiet Carry Drift. This comes with a stone washed, super clean, Van X super clean drop point blade, which is completely rust proof, rust resistant which going into summer where it might be rainy conditions, wet conditions, humid conditions, this will be able to put up an amazing fight for your corrosion resistance. You have dull thumb studs for your deployment options. They work exceptionally well. You have great pass through to that lock bar. You have a nice chamfer on the lock bar. Very easy to manipulate over and over again. Very thin and very, very slicey. This one in particular has knurled titanium handles and they are top notch. This one has a wire deep carry pocket clip. This guy is lightweight. It is slicey, thin, deep carry. This is a perfect shorts weather type of carry that is going to hold up in the elements. The quiet carry drift is a phenomenal, phenomenal choice. Next up is the TRM Three Rivers Manufacturing Atom. This bad boy has a stone washed 20 CV drop point blade and oh is it slicey this is american made and it is exceptionally well done this and the quiet carry both are on phosphor bronze washers and both of them are absolutely awesome very very well done very well constructed this is also dull thumb studs this one has some sort of twill carbon fiber and it looks amazing. This is going to be another one that holds up to humid conditions and corrosion issues. Now 20 CV is not completely corrosion resistant, but it is a very corrosion resistant steel, especially with a well done stone wash. It I have never had any issues, and in Pennsylvania, it gets very humid here. It gets rainy here, and I have not had one single issue with a stone wash 20 CV blade. The carbon fiber is going to be corrosion resistant. Now, this list isn't constructed of all corrosion resistant knives, but I tried to throw a couple of them in here for people in certain areas that it might be an issue. You have a deep carry, titanium clip, nice and thin profile, short profile, very lightweight. The TRM Atom is no stranger to most people in the knife world, but just in case you have not heard of this guy, ultra thin blade stock, ultra thin down behind the edge, this is a slicing machine, and it will get the job done, no question, no problem. The TRM Atom. Next up is a more of a gent style carry, but an ultra, ultra great everyday carry for summer. This is the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. This bad boy has a stone washed magna cut drop point blade you have dull thumb studs for your deployment method and they work amazing this is a nice slim bodied profile it ain't real thick it works amazing it looks good 
it's just a outstanding EDC lightweight. It is a liner lock. You have awesome pass through to that liner with some jimping. Catches your finger every time. You have a nice spot for your thumb to roll in there and disengage this guy. You can come in from the side. You can come in from the straight, the straight on, no problem. Uh, Tactile does a phenomenal job on the knives that they have had for quite some time. Very simple construction. You have two screws on the body along with your pivot screw. And then you have a hidden uh, pocket clip screw. You have a titanium quarter backspacer. This bad boy is a phenomenal, phenomenal choice for a summer carry in 2023. And it will look ultra good in doing so. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. So I will apologize in advance, guys. Some guys might get upset about this one, but I couldn't make this list and not put it on here. We have the Benchmade Bug Out. For summer carry, for hiking, you want an ultra lightweight knife that's going to hold up and do a spectacular job. You don't have to get this one in particular. This one is a little more costly. And at the end of the video, I'll go over prices, guys. That way, the guys who, you know, don't want to look the knives up themselves, we'll go over prices. But this one's a little more pricey. You can definitely go with one that is a little bit better in the price category. Now, even the lowest cost uh, Benchmade bug out is going to still be a good price. That's one of the many reasons back when I got this, I just went all out. So you have a stonewashed S90V drop point blade. You have dull anodized blue thumb studs for the deployment. This bad boy is as smooth as butter. You have that awesome crossbar lock from Benchmade. And this guy is just so fluid, so intuitive. The action is amazing. The edge came pretty good on this from Benchmade. They are kind of hit and miss, but this one came pretty damn good. The carbon fiber on this is just spectacular, guys. It uh, It's amazing. Some of the absolute best carbon fiber on a pocket knife that you can get. It is very well done, along with its brother, the 940 Osborne in S90 and carbon fiber, both the same carbon fiber. That would also be a great choice for this category. You have a deep carry, minimal steel rollover clip. Works amazing. One of Benchmade's best clips, if not their best clip. You have a aluminum blue anodized backspacer with an integrated lanyard hole there this is probably the most or one of the most sold summer and hiking knives ever that is basically why this was created a lightweight hiking camping everyday carry knife that you know it's gonna hold up gonna do well american made just like the TRM, just like the Tactile, Knife Co., Rockwall, all American made. The Benchmade Bug Out still holds its value to this day as a great lightweight carry. And it hasn't changed none. The Benchmade Bug Out is a phenomenal lightweight summer carry. Coming in at number six is actually the Benchmade Bug Out's Arch Nemesis. You have the Hogue Deca. This is version two. You have a coated MagnaCut drop point blade. Uh, could be considered a clip point, I guess. It's very minimal clip. It's like a modified clip, modified drop point blade. Some jimping there on the spine. Dull thumb studs for the manipulation on this one. You also have the able lock, crossbar lock. 
you have these scorpion carbon fiber scales they look amazing it's like gold gold matter carbon fiber something to that effect you have a minimal deep carry steel rollover clip works amazing in my opinion just like the bug out this is american made lightweight magna cut is gonna do the job do the job well it's gonna be very corrosion resistant uh have good edge stability and it, it's gonna be a great knife great size lightweight the hogue deca is definitely a very optimal choice for a summer everyday carry knife next up we have the Spyderco Indela. This bad boy is coming in that ultra amazing K390 phenomenal steel. This is the Warncliffe edition. It is a phenomenal slicer, very thin and slicey. The FRN scales are ultra lightweight. I mean, this knife weighs next to nothing. It has got a full size handle, a full size blade, very comfortable, very easy to control. You have that Warren Cliff blade, and it is going to allow you to make any cut and every cut that you can need. You have that nice, strong back lock. It's going to allow you to make any cut that you could possibly need. You have Spyderco's lower mounted clip. Can be changed with a Lynch clip, MXG clip, RGT clip. So there are plenty of options if you don't like that clip. But this is going to be a phenomenal EDC knife for the summer. This is the Spyderco Indela in K390. A great, great choice for a summer carry. So this is number four. Any version of this knife, but for me, specifically this one, this is the CJRB Pyrite. This is the first button lock on this list. This is a more budget-friendly option. You have a stone-washed ARRPM9 drop point blade, dull thumb studs for your deployment method, and this thing has been an amazing little EDC. You get a full grip on there. The blade length is very good for an EDC in the summer. You have an ultra deep carry pocket clip, steel rollover clip. It's going to carry very deep. Very lightweight with these G10 handles. The liners are not heavy at all. They have triangular milling in there, if you can see right there. This bad boy has done a phenomenal job. They also came out with a couple different versions of this just recently. And any of those would be a good choice. CJ, RB. Pyrite and ARPM9, a great choice for a summer carry. Number three is the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2. There is multiple versions of this knife. I happen to have the coated 154CM with that blue jean micarta. You have amazing pass through to that liner. Very easy to manipulate and move over. Dull thumb studs for your deployment. Fine jimping there. The drop point blade is going to be a phenomenal workhorse for you. This is pretty lightweight. Doesn't weigh that much, especially for its little bit bigger size. You have a nice deep carry steel rollover clip there lanyard hole for the lanyard guys amazing action that 154 cm is a well-rounded steel so it's going to hold up for you hold up to your everyday tasks you know it's it's going to do a phenomenal job on an edc level and even if you wanted to make this an edc and work knife but 
nonetheless, this would be an ultra good choice for a summer carry in 2023. The Kaiser Big Lighter 2 in 154cm and Micarta. Number two is going to be the Migron Pegos 2. Now, this is the more premium version. They make a more budget-friendly version. Either one of those is going to do phenomenal. But this one has a satin M390 blade. You have blue anodized thumb studs, blue anodized pivot. You have a brass collar, micro milling in the titanium. This is a beautiful looking knife, comes in under 200 bucks. You have a 3D milled deep carry titanium pocket clip, nice and lightweight, great size. You have a straight back drop point blade. This is going to be a phenomenal EDC knife in summer 2023. Last up, guys, is the Kaiser Drop Bear. This has become one of my favorite knives this year. You can get this in a bunch of different flavors, but this one comes in a stone washed, satiny, 154cm spear point blade. You have dull thumb studs for the deployment, jimping across the whole spine there. This has Kaiser's crossbar lock the clutch lock adjustable and just so fluid one of the best crossbar locks if not the best crossbar lock on the market deep carry rollover steel clip this guy will make an amazing amazing summer carry lightweight aluminum handles this thing is worth its weight in gold coming in around 120 dollars this thing is a beast. You can get upgraded steel materials and handle materials that will up the price. I will link these knives down below, at least the ones that are in stock. Put the prices next to them, and that way, you know, you can decide. I'm not going to continue on. That'll do it for this one, guys. Hopefully, that helps someone maybe narrow down their summer carry for 2023 if you're still here give me a big old thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the list what's going to be your go-to summer carry or what's one you're going to pick up for your go-to summer carry love y'all if you're still here and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button down below the video love to have you here otherwise guys catch you on the next one